and you really are, are repulsed by the violence that, that Muslims commit in the name of Islam, that you would go back and you would consider the fact that they didn't make that up, that that came from true Islam. And then you would see that true Islam is not a religion to be followed, but is against the true God. You understand in your heart the true message is thou shalt not kill. That's in the Bible. That's not in the Quran. Oh, Salah, I wish you'd accept Jesus Christ Amen. and become saved Amen. and be our brother. And then there would be no doubt that I could Hallelujah. trust you fully. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's take the next caller Jesus. right now. Welcome. You're on the air with News and Views. Hello, Brother Joseph. Yes, welcome. How are you? Uh, this is Zahia. How are you, Hamoudi? Hey, good, Zahia. How are you? Oh, we're doing good. Glad to hear from you, sister. Thank you, Brother Joseph. First of all, I want to congratulate you for the scope of the debate. It's really a very impressive, the, the level that you show is getting to, and that only reflects the effort that you're putting to put some light on what's going on in our life. Well, uh, I do agree with you totally that you cannot trust, but with some, you know, uh, I grew up in a country we're supposed to have a lot of freedom of religion, maybe one of the only country in Islamic world that has, we have Jews and Muslims still live together. Yeah. As, I grow, as I was growing up, if we want to go to a doctor, we go to a Jew. Yeah. When I go to a tailor, we go to a Jew, even dentist. Uh, this is the one you're totally, absolutely true about. Even one of the chancellors of the king is a Jewish. Uh, the minister of the tourism was a Jewish, and since today. And um, even us, between us inside the family, when we want to do something, we said, you know what, go ahead and take it to Cohen or Raquel or something like that. Absolutely, totally agree with you. But... Yeah. There is one thing uh, uh, we have to understand, coming from a background, as I said, uh, you know, has been out for months almost. Right now, I'm a Christian, and I thank God for it. Amen. Uh, there is a lot of social and political issues going on with it. Yeah. Uh, you have to, I'm coming, as I told you, um, after long study, and I have a radical thinking. I don't put too much emotions in my life. Uh, when you look at the our Islamic world, everything is run by political. Everything, every single, even the food they bring, even the quality of everything, even some books that are forbidden, even the internet. And when I visited back home a uh, long time ago, not long time ago, a year ago, I was searching for a book, and all of a sudden there was a red line stating, get out right now. I was totally shocked. What does, you know, this says a lot about the freedom of thinking. If somebody reads Quran, there is two options. I study it, the, the, maybe that's why I became, I don't know if you remember, first time I was start showing and uh, looking at your shows last year. Yeah. I remember I was arguing with you, and I was mad and everything. But you know what, uh, Brother uh, Joseph? Yeah. Uh, there's two options. When you read the Quran, and you sit down, and you read it slowly, and you pay attention to it, there's two ways. Either you be totally fanatic because of either you are missing something in your life, Either uh, your entourage, people around you, economy, uh, political, what they feed your brain every day, either you're going to be totally switching out, yeah. getting out of it. Yeah. Now, becoming a Christian most of the time, I would say 99.99% people are the reverse of the Christians. Otherwise, they're going to be in the middle, lost. And that's what the lost, that's what they call the moderate Muslims. Yeah. Open minded. They're not open-minded. I was, I was supposed to be one of them. I all the time called myself, I am an open-minded person, yeah. which was true. But you have to stand somewhere, either with or against. You cannot be with and against. You can. This is how life runs. This is how life goes. Right. And I pray for, for my family first now because I'm uh, having a hard pro uh, time with them and everything. But you know what? I've never been so confident like now. Yeah. I can discuss anything. I can, as you said, uh, the same for your father. I, I totally know that because same happened to me. I didn't know a lot of things about Quran. I'm supposed to be Muslim. I am Muslim. Yeah, I repeat verses, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, and move on. But we have that 
people hate us, Christians hate us, Jewish hate us. But when I leave the country at age of 14, I start looking at people in France, you know, how they are, how they treat me, how, you know, true, there's some discrimination. We have to understand where discrimination came from. Right. It came from us. You know, there is what goes around, comes around. You cannot judge the other person unless you know yourself first. Yeah. There's an Arabic saying, um, I don't know how to translate it in English, forgive me. There's an tibar over something and muharifa bishay. You have an idea about something and you have a full knowledge about something. Yeah. Most of the Muslims, and as I said, I was one of them. I had only an tibar about Christianity. I, you have to forgive me really because next time I will tell you exactly the word on English. If you don't have the full knowledge, oh, I know Christianity, you hate us. One thing also was raised all the time, still today, the other day was so funny, in the middle of a discussion with some religious quote-to-quote family, they were saying, you know what, the, the engine is, is not the true one, the book, the real book is not there. Right. Okay, I, I ask, where is it? Why are they hiding it? Why? <laughs> Give me a reason why the book, the Quran, is out there and the Bible, the true Bible, is not there. How can you convince me? You cannot say, okay, we heard it. Nobody could give a real explanation. Right, right. And and I was so happy because I passed that stage. So thank God. I you know it's just like every day I and I really, really, really. Uh, Pastor Joseph, I appreciate what you are doing because of you. Because of uh, Brother Rashid, because Ahata, the list is so long. Hallelujah. You know, I am one of those people, <laughs> if you tell me two years ago, I would be Christian, I would be, forgive me, I would be saying, you know what, maybe you're under drugs or something. Oh. It's never going to happen. Zahia, we love you. I call all the Muslims. We I know some of my friends are listening <laughs> right now, and they hate it. <clears throat> and I said, you know what, take time. Don't judge. You know, that was a mistake I did. Don't judge. Sit down, read it, find out the truth, and after that, go to discussion. Because I made myself full a long time ago. Now I cannot afford having that. Oh, Zahir, all Zahir. Of, you know, all of you guys, thank you so much. I Zahir, really stay on the line. I, I want to pray with you. I, I thank God for you, Zahir. Yes. Zahir, you are a champion. You are one oh. in a million. We thank God for you. Yes, we thank God for giving you that mercy and that love and that understanding and that faith and that braveness to be able to stand up for what is yes, right. Hallelujah. And oh, dear sister, let's pray now for Zahir. Zahir, who came out of the darkness of Islam. And Zahir, thank you so much. I know that when we talked before on the air a year ago, maybe I was hard. Maybe I, I came across rough. But I think now you understand that, that, that we have to be rough in that there, there is a, a blinder over people's eyes. And, and it's as if someone is drowning in the ocean and we have to act quickly to save them. And oh, let's pray for Zahir right yeah. now. Oh, Heavenly Father, thank, thank you, you for our Jesus. dear sister Zahir. Oh, thank, thank you, Lord. You, Lord. Strengthen her. Jesus. Cover Hallelujah. her in your sheltering oh, wings. Oh, oh Lord, Lord, even as you've cleansed her by the blood of your precious son, Jesus, and you've given her the Holy Spirit, your spirit to live inside of her. Oh, Lord, open her mouth to preach the gospel to the nations. May she be a light on a hill. May she be the salt in the earth. Lord God, use her, I pray. Use her mightily in her family. Use her mightily with her friends. May she be one that you use, Lord God, to bring many Muslims to Christ. Protect her with your angels, Lord God. Encompass her with her love. You said if any man come after me, he must deny himself, take up his cross and follow me. And she has done just that. But she has given up father and mother and sister and brother and houses and lands for your sake and the gospel's sake and the kingdom's sake. But dear Zahir, Thank Jesus you, says, Jesus. if you do that, he'll give you now in this time Thank houses you, and brethren and Hallelujah. fathers and mothers and brothers and sisters. And we're your brothers, Zahir. We're your family, Zahir. You can come to my house. You can come to our church. You have incorporated now. You're in the greatest Jesus. family, the eternal family of God. And we